Welcome back to 843 TV. We now have the pleasure to be joined by Mr. Edward Swift. Edward, how are you? Good, thanks. Good. So um, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you found your way to Spring Island. Okay, so I was a sports writer, was my career for over 30 years. I was at Sports Illustrated and my in-laws actually uh, bought down here. And so we're like a second generation because uh, we, we came and we'd visit them uh, a couple, three times and just fell in love with the place and said, we want our own lot down here. So we, we bought a lot and um, eventually, uh, eventually built. And now I'm retired and uh, spending more and more time. That's great. Uh, love it. How long have you been here? Well, we, the lot we bought in 2000, and um, we built the house in uh, 2003. My, my wife wanted to, um, our boys at that point were, you know, younger, and she wanted to have the house. I was going like, whoa, slow down. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> she wanted them to imprint on, on Spring Island before they got out of the house and had their own lives and whatnot. And... Uh, Looking back on it, I'm glad that's that's what we did. It was a little earlier timetable than I thought we were going to have, but um, uh, so we've now been here uh, 12 years and are still discovering things. Uh, we're we just are, are uh, as as in love with Spring Island as as we were the first time we saw it. And what do you all do while you're here? Well, uh, I tell friends of mine that. This is like adult summer camp. <laughs> it kind of is. Yeah, we've actually. said that before. In a good way. You <laughs> know, a good I mean, analogy. You're not. You don't have to do any of this stuff, but but we uh, we tend to sign up for things. So, uh, like you, as I signed up this year to be a bluebird monitor. I play a lot of golf, uh, but uh, this is not a golf community. That would be the wrong way to characterize it. But they have an excellent golf course. Uh, I. I, I quail shoot just off island. We have a relationship with uh, a plantation, and which I know that Mike does. And um, I uh, fish, and we, uh, my wife is, is a big fisherman, as am I. And uh, for redfish, for freshwater bass, uh, Spring Island is just bo both on the island and in the surrounding estuaries, fabulous fishing. Um, uh, we're gardeners and so we use the community garden we enjoy that i am just going to pick up croquet and that, which <laughs> i know it sounds like for you know very old person's game but i'm told it's not and we have a, a first class croquet you know court here um, and uh, so the days you know they are easily filled and i still do a little work at home uh, so uh, uh, it's uh, the days fly by i have no no trouble filling the hours you know um I always love to hear about where people from here go on vacation. I mean, it's just the most fantastic vacations. I know, uh, I know y'all go on some back roads vacations, and you just came back from one with another couple here, didn't you? Yeah, we, we went with the Crossmans, who were early pioneers uh, here on the island, raised their two kids here. They're, I think, the only family to have done so. Um, but uh, Billy and Allison Crossman, and we, we went to Patagonia fishing. Really? We were there 10 days uh -huh. and uh, had a great trip. And uh, uh, it, was, uh, it was something that I hope we'll do again. And, uh, I, but I, uh, I know that, that is, uh, it, that's the sort of friendships you do make on the island is uh, uh, people that you, you, you want to go places with and do other things with and not, not just stay here. And um, uh, th that, was a, that was the first time we vacationed with the Crossmans. And, we just had a ball, had a wonderful trip. Yeah, that's a wonderful way to go, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. So are you and your wife full-time residents now? Or? We're, we're not yet, no, uh, but we, we intend to uh, become, in the next couple of years, I'm, as I said, I'm now retired. As a writer, you can live anywhere, and, and so there's no real reason for us not to spend more time here. I, uh, I still play a little hockey up north, and so that's the one thing you can't do down here is play hockey. And so uh, un until I officially retire my skates, hang them up, uh, I'll still be spending part of the winter up in Boston, which was a good winter to miss this year. I was getting ready to say, there's a good well reason times. to be here yeah, right yeah, now for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, so. Now, do your boys come back? They do. They come, they're both working now. They're both in Chicago, and so it's hard to you know, get them um, as often as we like, but they love it down here. They both love the golf course and they love to fish. And so uh, I think they're coming down for March. We had them here for Thanksgiving 
And um, that's always a very busy time of, of year on the island because so many families do come right. down here. And the other time they like to come is New Year's. Uh, we have a big New Year's celebration actually at the Crossman's, uh, uh, or the, they're, they're the hosts, and we go down to the gazebo at Bonnie Shore and set off fireworks, which is legal in South Carolina. <laughs> and um, uh, that's, uh, that's another time they like to be at. A lot of young people that are here around New Year's. That's a special time, isn't it? I mean, isn't that a tradition? It, it, yeah, it is. It has become so. I think we've done it about eight, nine years in a row. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've talked a lot about community every show, but especially this show. Um, and some people, when they ride through, they come across the bridge and they see all the greenery and everything. And you ride through the neighborhoods and you can't see the homes from the road. So some people may get the impression that that means people are secluded and and not a part of the community. That's obviously not true. What can you say to that? I mean, yeah, that that if that is a perception, it's an incorrect one. It's this is the easiest place to meet people I've ever been. I mean, Boston is somewhat reserved. I would say quite reserved. Um, so when we came down here, it's just people do they introduce themselves. Uh, there are your there are invitations for dinner. There's activities you sign up for. Look, you don't have to do any of this stuff, but if you're active and if you're uh, interested in meeting people, this is the easiest place in the world to do that because there are men's golf groups, um, there's women's golf groups, there's men's bridge, women's bridge. All these are, I'm in the chorus. <laughs> we have a little singing chorus. We need more men. Um, but that's, you know, these are uh, all welcoming groups and communities that uh, it's just easy to to meet people yeah. and people don't want to hide in their houses they're all beautiful houses mm -hmm. they they want to get out and they and so they, they take advantage of these uh uh when the golf shop puts together a, a couple's twilight golf and dinner thing mm -hmm. people sign up yeah and so very very easy to meet people and to meet new people you're not you're not stuck with the same group always new faces coming in Oh, and, and everybody's welcoming. Good. Well, thank you for sharing your experiences with us. We appreciate it. My pleasure. And stay with us. We'll be back with more 843 TV.